After years and years of waiting for a new modern Battlefield game, the time has finally come and it's officially revealed. The latest Battlefield is Battlefield 2042 and in this video we're going to be going over everything you need to know about the game. Let me know your initial thoughts on the look of the game in the comments below. Like this video if you're excited for Battlefield 2042 because personally I've been playing Battlefield since Bad Company and to finally see a return to the modern day, I am incredibly excited. So Battlefield 2042 releases on October 15th, 2021 on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, PS5 and PC. There is no denying that this looks absolutely incredible. But jumping into the most important details, this game is going to support up to 128 players. This is absolutely incredible because this is the first time ever in Battlefield that we've had that many players. Before, they've only had a maximum of 64. Now, unfortunately, if you're playing the game on PS4 and Xbox One, you will only have a player count of 64. As the power of the next gen consoles is what's pushing that additional player count. On top of that, surprisingly, Battlefield 2042 won't have a single player campaign. Now, that might be disappointing to some. I feel Battlefield have always had potential for great campaigns, but yeah, this game will not feature one as DICE wanted to create a lot of value for players in the multiplayer modes. And that is made up of three distinct game experiences where some can consider that this is three games in one. The first is a game mode called All Out Warfare, which is the next generation of fan favorite modes Conquest and Breakthrough, which feature the largest battlefield maps ever and up to 128 players. But you can experience all of the insanity of All Out Warfare on maps filled with dynamic weather and spectacular world events. For Conquest, the maps have been specifically designed designed for the vast scale with action divided into clusters of various kinds and the action now centers around sectors consisting of several flags instead of individual control points and as for breakthrough the return of breakthrough sees two teams attackers and defenders battle over larger scale sectors as the attackers push forward toward the final objective each sector is designed to house a larger number of players enabling more strategic choice and more flanking opportunities the third game mode revealed today is is one called Hazard Zone, which is an all new high stakes squad based game type that is a modern take on the multiplayer experience. Hazard Zone is distinctly Battlefield, but very different from the modes of All Out Warfare. But they're keeping their cards very close to their chest on what exactly this is right now. But there is a gameplay reveal in four days time. There's a great chance that we'll actually be able to see what this is all about really soon. And there's a final mode, which is currently redacted, created as a love letter to the core fans. A new way to play Battlefield is coming. Discover unexpected battles and enter the wide universe of Battlefield with this experience experience which will be shown in detail at EA Play Live on July 22nd. Now could this be Battlefield trying to get into that free to play market to rival Call of Duty Warzone with a potential standalone battle royale? A lot of media outlets that ask DICE have kept their lips very tightly sealed so we don't know. To me it makes a lot of sense. Warzone is clearly super popular because it's free to play and when Battlefield tried their own battle royale in Battlefield 5 you had to buy the game to get access to it and it was wasn't very popular so it's a no-brainer to me but let's go over and talk about maps there are seven maps coming to the game upon launch and these look absolutely incredible the first one is orbital set in the french guinoa where it's a race against time and hostile conditions as you fight around the site of an imminent rocket launch watch out for both enemies fire and upcoming storms on this dynamic map and i mean just from the trailer it looks fantastic the second map hourglass set in doha Qatar, you're fighting in a city lost to the desertification around it. Massive dust and sandstorms are constantly rolling in, blotting out the natural light as you battle for control of a convoy trapped in the shifting sands. Kaleidoscope takes place in Songdo, South Korea, in a state of the art metropolis in South Korea. Zip line between skyscrapers and fight among the plazas surrounding the city's iconic data center. Manifest is on Brani Island in Singapore, where you can watch out for tropical tornadoes and navigate through maze like cargo containers in this key trade location. Discarded takes place in Alang, India, along a strategic section of its west coast, where colossal ships stranded on the beach are being stripped for parts. Breakaway takes place in Queen Maudland, Antarctica, where oil extraction has turned the freezing area to a strategic hotspot, where you can take advantage of destructible fuel tanks and silos that create debris fields.
shields and permanent fires when destroyed. And finally, renewal takes place in eastern desert of Egypt, where a giant wall built to secure rich man-made agricultural areas takes center stage in this intense map, where you prepare for extreme conditions, deploy and secure the access points and massive gates in the wall. Now, talking about all of this, a massive thing we have to talk about that's being overhauled is the actual gameplay when it comes to roles and classes. As in Battlefield 2042, you will choose your role on the battlefield and form custom-made squads through the new specialist system. This is based on Battlefield's four classes, but these specialists have one unique speciality and trait, while the rest of the loadout is fully customizable. This has never been seen before in a Battlefield game where you can play as a medic, but still use a sniper rifle, for instance, and you'll be playing as specific special characters who each have their own unique traits. There are a total of 10 specialists which are going to be in the game upon launch, but at the moment we've only been revealed four. The first being Webster McKay, an ex-military lone wolf survivalist. He's an ass kicker with a conscience. This Canadian-born assault soldier fights for the non-patrioted to make right a regret from his military days. As you can see, he has a grappling hook in his hand. And this is his special weapon, where he fires a rope that attaches to surfaces and when attached, the rope is retracted and the player gets pulled towards the attach point. His trait is called Nimble, which allows the player to move more quickly while aiming down sights, further enhancing his speed-related advantages. The next specialist is Maria Falk, who's a veteran support with a strong will that cannot be shaken by danger, fear or rank. And she's a skilled medic with her primary motivation to find her son David among the non-patrioted groups spread across the world, with her main weapon being a Surrette pistol, which fires at friendlies to provide healing. Now, this is very different to normal because before you drop a medical kit nearby, whilst you'll actually be able to fire a syringe from this pistol to provide healing to yourself and teammates. And funnily enough, if you fire this at an enemy, the syringe will actually do damage and her ability is Combat Surgeon, which allows the player to return downed allies to combat with full health when reviving. The next specialist is called Pyotr Boris Guskovsky, whose special weapon is a SG-36 sentry system, which automatically spots and engages enemy targets detected within a certain area and his ability is sentry operator which spots the enemy target when the sentry gun locks onto the enemy in question the final specialist revealed today is wickers casper van dale who looks just absolutely awesome and his weapon is an ovp recon drone which spots nearby moving targets and can disorient enemies by using emp blasts and can also be used to designate targets for lock-on weapons and his ability is a movement sensor which alerts the player to a approaching enemies both while boots on the ground and when piloting the recon drone. This is definitely a bit of a controversial change for the Battlefield series. Let me know what you think of the idea of these specialists down below in the comments section. But I am looking forward to the freedom of being able to use any weapon class no matter what specialist and ability they have. Now a huge change to the way that Battlefield is running things is they are going to be approaching this game as a live service model where players will be given the services and evolution they've come to expect expect while aiming at keeping the community playing together for years to come. They're evolving the world and expanding on this fiction through multiple seasons of content, each one lasting for about three months. Every season will come with a new free and paid for battle pass, delivering new content to chase after. And in the first year of live service, they will deliver four seasons with four battle passes, four new specialists, along with more fresh content. That's quite a big thing to reveal from the first glimpse glimpses of the game but another thing is that pre-launch those who pre-order the game will get an early taste of the game with an open beta where the details are yet to be revealed and then post-launch we've got that promise of four seasons of content with four new specialists in each season and new map locations and EA have confirmed that new locations will be accessible to all players regardless if you buy any battle pass or choose not to. I can't lie this game looks absolutely phenomenal and I just cannot wait to see some actual gameplay from this in just a few days time and I'll be covering it here on the channel so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the latest news. If you enjoyed this video and learned something you didn't know already about the game please leave a like rating it really helps this video out in the YouTube algorithm and lets more people see it and I intend to post a ton more Battlefield so if you like the sound of that let me know below subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you for that Battlefield gameplay reveal in four days time.